You can swim with the fishes at Factory Obscura's latest art installation. Swim with the fishes, that's right. That's right. That's the that's immersive that. sculpture is called Seed Reef. It represents a coral reef. This is so beautiful. News 9's Tevis Hillis is in the Northwest Oklahoma City to dive into that experience. Tevis, tell us what's behind you. I am Ooh. underneath the water. I don't know how to do it really well, but we're swimming. That's exactly what we're yes. doing. I'm yeah. here with Malcolm, the Hi. artist of the exhibit, exhibit, one of the artists. Tell me kind of your backstory and why you wanted to create this, this underwater exhibit. Um, so I'm both an artist and a scientist, and uh, I've been collaborating with my friend Emma Defani. Uh, this is a kirigami um, paper reef, so it's all paper folded and cut. That's kind of like origami with cutting. And then my friend Emma, she screen printed all this paper with all these um, coral reef creature designs. Like these are all corals um, and they have little polyps um, with all their little patterns and stuff. That's a butterfly fish, um, what you're seeing is the orange and stripe. And then we have a, a whale shark. And there it is. <laughs> it is paper mache. It's pretty yes. amazing that you all created this. Tell me how long it took, how heavy it weighs, all of that. Yeah, um, it is. Uh, has a wire understructure, but Emma took probably like a week to make it. Um, it was during the snowstorm <laughs> in hey, February. We'll thank Lacey Swope for that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to come over here. Yes. In under the sea, when you come in, you can see this great coral reef, but yes. there's also this right behind. Tell me what's behind yes. the curtain. So this is a deep sea alcove. We wanted people to feel like they're going uh, really deep um, away from the corals. And these are some firefly squid and jellyfish that are glowing in the dark. And you said you were a scientist and artist. Yes. Interesting mixture. Yeah. Go f good for you. <laughs> now, tell me the backstory and why it's so important that we are talking about the white cor coral, if I have it correct. Yes, so these um, coral, um, if they are stressed, they can uh, get rid of their symbiotic algae, which creates their colors. And so they just turn white and sometimes they can die. Um, and we were trying to say like, okay, let's make a thing where people can participate since this is something that anyone can, can do, color in the paper and cut and fold. Um, so I did it myself, thankfully. Yes, With yeah. the help of you, yeah. we created a Boomer Sooner News 9 pink sculpture Coral. Yes. I think it was the 10 out of 10. What would you give it? Yeah. 100% uh, yes. of 10 out of 10. Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you can be involved with this art exhibit as well. You can make your own. You can you sit right behind this wall and you make your own. So I'm going to put mine up. Yes. I'll get to be a part of the art. Nothing like it. There we go. So you have Malcolm, the artist, Emma, the artist, and now Tevis, the artist, and all these other wonderful people that came out and create. So you have time to come out and create. It's until April 24th. 24th. Yes. It's pretty fun. It's pretty exciting. Also, tell me, we're hearing the noises of being under the sea. Tell me about why it's so important that you add that into your art as well. Yeah, so we are very grateful that Factory Obscura uh, made this immersive experience of the lighting and um, ocean sounds. Um, and even this, uh, adding these corals is what real um, coral conservationists are doing to try to help restore reefs. So you're going through the motions. Hey, it sounds great. Malcolm, thank you for joining us Thanks. today. I really appreciate it. You have until April 24th to dive in, go under the water, and see what this is all about. You can see Malcolm's work and my work. Nothing like it. Back to you all. 10 out of 10. We do, too. That's what we give you. Good job, Tevis. Oh, my gosh.